Hello everyone. Now today we'll discuss about one of the most important topic of anatomy and surgery that is inguinal canal. So, what is inguinal canal? It is an intermuscular canal which is present between the muscles of the anterior abdominal wall. So, it is a canal which is present in between the muscles of the anterior abdominal wall. We'll discuss about these muscles coming slides. Okay. Now, contents of the inguinal canal. It is divided into true true contents and false and pseudo false or pseudo content okay there are true contents of inguinal canal and false or pseudo contents what are the true contents so the contents which enter through the deep ring and exit through the superficial ring these are known as true contents see if this is superficial ring if this is deep ring the contents which enter through the deep ring and exit through the superficial ring this is known as true contents what are the true contents of inguinal canal spermatic cord in males and round ligament in females okay what is spermatic cord it is a bundle of nerves arteries which connects the testis we'll discuss about it in coming for the coming slides now let us discuss about the pseudo content or false content these contents which enter the inguinal canal through the other, other than the deep ring which that does not enter through the deep ring other than the deep ring and exit from superficial ring the exit point is superficial ring but the entry is not the deep ring what is uh, what is the pseudo content of inguinal canal Ilio inguinal nerve. This is a pseudo content. Okay. Now let us discuss about the layers of the anterior abdominal wall. So, inguinal canal is present in between the anterior abdominal wall muscles. So now let let us discuss about the anterior abdominal wall layers. Skin, first layer is skin, superficial fascia, okay. external oblique muscle, internal oblique muscle, transverse abdominis muscle, fascia transversalis, and peritoneal layer. Okay. What are the layers of the anterior abdominal wall? Skin. Okay. Subcutaneous fat or superficial fascia. External oblique muscle. Internal oblique muscle. Transverse abdominis. Transverse fascia. Transversalis fascia or fascia transversalis. Peritoneal fat and peritoneum. Okay. These are the layers of the anterior abdominal wall. You can see here skin, subcutaneous fat. And this is external oblique. This is internal oblique. This is transverse abdominis. This is fascia transversalis. Peritoneal layer. Okay. The layers of the abdominal wall form the scrotal layers as well. So the above discussed abdominal wall muscles, they also form the scrotal layers also. So they are skin, dartus muscle formed from the superficial fascia of the abdominal wall. So this dartus muscle is derived from the superficial fascia of the abdominal wall as we have discussed above. Next. External spermatic fascia, which is formed from external oblique muscle. Okay, external spermatic fascia is formed from the external oblique muscle, cremastic muscle, and fascia. This is formed from the internal oblique muscle. Internal spermatic fascia is derived from the fascia transversalis. So, internal spermatic fascia is derived from the fascia transversalis. Here we will see. These are the layers of scrotum. This is important. So, skin, dartus muscle is from, formed from superficial. Fascia. External spermatic fascia is formed from external oblique muscle. Cremastic muscle and fascia are formed from internal oblique muscle. Internal spermatic fascia forms from fascia transversalis. So one more layer is being remaining. So that is transversalis abdominis. This does not give rise to any layers of the scrotum. Okay. So we'll discuss, we'll revise here. So, dartus muscle, it is formed from the superficial fascia, external spermatic fascia, external oblique muscle, cremastic muscle and fascia from internal oblique muscle, internal spermatic fascia from fascia transversalis. So, these are the layers of this cord. Coverings of the spermatic cord. Okay, what is spermatic cord? It is a bundle of arteries, bundle, which contains arteries, these are the contents. So, it connects the testis. Testis. Now let us discuss the covering of the spermat coverings of the spermatic cord, which is important. What are the coverings of spermatic cord? External spermatic fascia. See, this is first covering of spermatic cord that is derived from the, as we know, external oblique muscle. Okay, cremastic muscle and fascia. This is derived from internal oblique muscle. Internal spermatic fascia, the innermost layer. This is internal spermatic fascia. It is derived from the fascia 
transversal is okay this this is testicular artery yeah this is testicular artery this is pompiniform plexus which is a venous plexus of the testis next this is remnant of the processus vaginalis this is vas deferens autonomic nervous system nerves of testis autonomic nerves of testis there is an important nerve that is genital branch of genitofemoral nerve it is present between the external spermatic fascia and the cremastic fascia here this is external spermatic fascia and this is cremastic fascia which is responsible for cremastic reflex we'll discuss later next cremastic artery also is present with this is cremastic artery which is also present between cremastic fascia and the in external spermatic fascia okay see now let's see the contents contents of testicular artery pompiniform plexus of veins the joints to form the gonadal veins testicular nerve sympathetic plexus over the testicular artery we have seen plexus of nerves vas deferens we have seen artery to vas deferens cremastic artery we have seen between the external oblique and cremastic fascia this is also present between external oblique genital branch of genital femoral nerve is also present from between the external oblique and cremastic fascia see this is here we see this area. external spermatic fascia here cremastic fascia here internal spermatic fascia okay these are cremastic arteries and veins okay this is testicular artery and surrounding autonomic nerves of testicular plexus with surrounding the testicular artery we find here genital branch of genital femoral nerve between the external oblique and the cremastic okay this is ductus deferens vas deferens okay so cremastic muscle is supplied by the, by the genital branch of genital femoral nerve so cremastic reflex what is cremastic reflex on stimulating the inner side of the thigh when you stimulate the inner side of the thigh thigh the testis moves up towards the superficial ring of the inguinal canal this is known as cremastic reflex what is the root value of cremastic reflex l1 and l2 remember this cremastic reflex root supply is root value is l1 and l2 so it is supplied by the genital genital branch of genital femoral nerve the testis move upwards towards the superficial ring of the inguinal canal inguinal canal in cremastic reflex when we scratch the inner aspect of the thigh we'll continue about the inguinal canal hesselbeck's triangle and hernias in the next top next part thank you please do like subscribe and share